This is my Juki LU-1508N. I'm just going to do a quick overview on how to time this machine. If you're going to do any adjustments on your machine, make sure you get the engineer's manual. I've got a link in the description. There are several different versions of this machine, and depending on what you got, uh, some of the measurements will be different. So be sure and check that out. The first thing you do is set the needle bar height at the bottom dead center. Bring it down and just kind of rock it until you just get it right at the very bottom. And that's where we're going to measure it. My manual says I need to set this for 52.3 millimeters. Since I can't really get this in there very good, I'm going to make a gauge. So in order to adjust the height of the needle bar, we're going to have to disconnect this clamp here. As I move the hand wheel, you can see that screw that's going up and down. That's the one that we can adjust the height of the needle bar with. Again, we'll make sure we're at bottom, dead center. Which I think is right there. It's also important that you keep the needle bar oriented front to back. There's a hole in the front and a screw on the side. So I just take my gauge, my homemade gauge, push it up against the bottom of the frame right here, and then measure it against the bottom of the needle bar right there. Now I know that the needle bar is set at bottom dead center. At 52.3 millimeters. Be sure and check this number. This might not be the same for your machine. Many machines use this. I've got a link in the description. Once I get the depth right, make sure that it's orientated with this hole to the front and this screw 90 degrees to the side because that'll twist in there when this screw is loose. So make sure you have that oriented right and then we'll tighten that screw. Now we're going to set the hook to the needle. So we're going to set our stitch length to zero. Now we're going to need to raise this needle bar by the hand wheel up from the bottom 2.3 millimeters. So again, I'm going to make another gauge. So that'll be zero and then I'll make a mark 2.3 up from here. Now we're under the machine kind of get your orientation. This is the bottom of the shaft that goes up through the hook. This big gear here is the one that we're going to rotate in order to adjust the hook timing. So before we get the machine in the position it needs to be, I'm going to loosen this screw. Now I can put the machine in the proper position using my gauge. I've got the machine right where I want it. Now that I've loosened that, this will advance or retard the hook. So we'll go back to the top now. Now when I move this, this gear here, you can see the hook rotates and the needle remains in place. So now we want to time that hook to the needle by placing the point of the hook right at the center of the needle. And at that point, you'll tighten this down. Now that I've got one screw tightened, I can move the hand wheel until I can get the other screw to where I can tighten it. So now the next time that needle comes down to the bottom and just starts to come back up, that 
hook passes the needle. You can kind of see that it's just over the eye a little bit in the scarf. And that's where it picks the thread off the needle. So I've removed the bobbin case just so you can see this. Now as the needle plunges through the material and approaches the bottom, you can see that thread is tight against the needle. But then after it reaches the bottom and begins to come back up, it allows a loop to be formed just before that hook gets there. And that's why you time the hook as the needle is coming back up from the bottom. It makes that loop and that hook can then grab it. So that's why it's not done at the bottom, but rather coming back up from the bottom. On this machine, 2.3 millimeters up from the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna put my machine back together. I wanna point out that this machine has many adjustments that can be made. So again, check out the manual and it should answer any questions that you might have. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're not already, please become a subscriber. Thanks for watching.